beast! Here comes the eyes! Prove yourself! Venomancer. They get ran after. This is a problem for Hesta Joe Rotten as Furzy is going to claim first blood on the Ursa. Venomancer. They get ran after. This is a problem for Hesta Joe Rotten as Furzy is going to claim first blood on the Ursa. Even at just level two. And even though they can constantly spam from the CM. Uh -oh. starting to hurt on the and Spirit. In lane nine, it's hit for the Cursed Crown. They were able to take away that haste rune. Deny coming from King R. I mean, it, the thing again about this is it's just like, you have this lineup that wants to be able to play pretty well right now as they do find the kill in the Ursa. Right, like this is kind of what Storm wants for farming. There's more share with anyone. Ah, it might be a free kill though. Yeah, if they get this Earth Spirit, the Earth Shaker rather, things start to look a little bit better. And King R also, they got the Cursed Crown onto him. As to Joe moving in towards King R as well. Then the Stampede coming out as they're trying to chase them down. Jump forward nine in no man's land. They just find that kill as well. King R maybe going to get denied here denied. with the Gale. They get the catch. Is out from Skitter. They do a haunt. Stampede bottom. Trying to find the Venomancer. They need to be careful about how far they dive here. Double edge out as well as the strike array. The haunt to turn it, trying to find this kill here. If they kill anybody off, it looks like they will take down Afterlife. Initiation with one of those sites, but of course he does have that Lincoln Spear still. The jump in, long duration stomp already at the get go. They kill off one Venomancer. He has buyback. Salting the melee barracks. They decide to retreat. Aqua Ninja low on mana. Only 13 Bloodstone charges. Things that can go unnoticed for a second. Suddenly you're stunned for two seconds. Yeah, that's true. Multi down, van score, cold embrace, still fine. Big jump in, able to find him. That's the Spectre going down, gonna die. 100 seconds, does have buyback. Haunt comes out. Can they kill him off in time? They don't decide to go in the Storm Spirit. It said he's caught, but the Light Strike right. They got him caught, gonna be killed one time. Can they do they it a second the echo. time? Looking for no the ultimate. There, Winter Wyvern not gonna be there to save him. They got him caught. Can they come up? No, the BKB! They didn't time it right. Oh, oh, are you kidding me? Echo Ninja need to run. Uh, not, not sure what happened there. That's brutal. Oh, it's okay though. They might have saved it. No, the Echo Slam, they missed it. King R, he jumps in and again saves the day for his team. Stomp is the call that comes out from the set. Forward for the Ursa, still has Enrage in case they want to fully go for this one. It's going to be the Stampede chase in. They have the Poison Nova on to three. Follow up is going to be there as well with the Winter's Curse on to two. Followed up by the Terrorize, they get him. Laguna Blade does take down one. That's Van Score dead, but they also are going to be able to kill off the Earthshaker and now Skyder left alone. And try and chase him out as well. Nine, trying to buy a little bit of space for his core and a good Light Strike right on to two. Might actually be what they need to turn this back around. They have a double edge after that hoof stomp with three dead on Furzy. They're going to be able to find themselves one last kill for Team Spirit. That's four is going to be found. They have the Hex. This does not have buyback. Storm Spirit trying to create some space for their Winter Wyvern. They do manage to bring down the Earthshaker at the get-go. CM Ulti immediately going to be interrupted as well. Apple Ninja trying to take down one. They are going to be able to control and kill off that Ursa though. And now Storm Spirit low on mana. They might actually be able to take this fight here, possibly. The buyback from the Lina, trying to get back into the fray. There's going to be the ulti coming out as well. And still Apo Ninja living through this all. He jumps forward for more. Pinji barely able to live. Wanted to turn for the Frostbite, but couldn't quite find it. Now everybody very low. Still within vision there. They do manage to take down that CM, but they kill off the Storm. He immediately buys back. Buys back on the Centaur as well. Sir, to create enough space in these team fights that I'm not the one getting jumped on. As they go into this bounty room, uh, you will set up and they'll have the Elsa and the Fisher here to follow, but Enrage will reduce a lot of the damage. King R, Bedlam, Wall TP, they find themselves the Ursa though. And Echo Slam as well as a. Now getting in towards Tranquils. Found Not themselves given a whole lot. Blink reveal, and it's easy as pie. Raffer and and decides to walk in, immediately jumped. The TP is coming in mass, they're gonna try and come and save them, but oh, the Winter's curse. curse down. Glimmer game, though. Oh, jump in, haunt out, finding themselves one. The fear to interrupt everything, though, and Skidder left alone. Can he take down King R? Storm Ninja is onto the storm. They jump off to the side, find Hestijo. Poison Nova's going. 
but these two cores should be able to find the kill. The pipe is popped, trying to chase forward for more. The Echo Slam turn around, and he's just going to jump in for more. He wants to take this fight, wants to be able to come back with that Aegis. Laguna Blade was down onto one. King R still living with that Terrorize there. And the jump in, the stomp, it wasn't good enough. The Light Strike ran the turn around with the Manta out. Can they do it in time? No, they can't quite. And now Afro Ninja going to try and get the cleanup. The double edge secures the kill onto the Maiden. And now another hoof stomp in three seconds. And the bottle regen coming in from the storm. He's got his eyes on the prize. And that prize is nine with 16 bloodstone charges. Oh, Can they kill him off in time? The three person to jump in. He's so low, but they are going to be able to find that kill just about underneath tower. But he doesn't give a damn. Storm Spirit also finishing off on the... Man, I bet you wish he had a reaver instead of a reaver killer. Okay, Hex is down. Aeon disproc. Testa Joe runs forward. The hoof stomp onto the BKB. That's a dead Dark Willow. Good time. Half ninja, oh. top lane. This is, uh, this is uh, CM's life now. Centaur Warrunner is just standing still. Literally every spell in the game is trying to get him. And they are eventually going to be able to find it. The Laguna Blade out as well. You will Scepter lift up. Just hit that space created button. <laughs> I feel like it might have I mean, been. Oh. There was a lot of space. Jump oh, in. no, not the Lena. The Haunt. All right, they bait out the Haunt, and now chasing for more. King R does still have Terrorize available, but the Light Strike Ray going to connect. Like we said, two sisters, as well as a random Earthshaker. They are not under any vision at all, but as they walk up onto high ground, you might be able to get up here as Furzy before the smoke breaks, jumps forward, finds the CM, the Fissure to try and interrupt it, but they have the Orchid out already onto Earthshaker. Silence down. Oh, He's nice killed. Song. Chasing for more. They find the Lena. You'll step your lift up. But the Stampede is there for the follow, and the Deny comes out. Now looking for more. The Winter's Curse down. They're going to start building up the stacks in a second here of the Fury Swipes if they want to. Catch. Kill. Done. Couldn't find the GPM talent. Can't farm any waves ever. Jump in. Maybe this is a chance, though. Hex. Looking for the opening here. They get the Poison Nova out on absolutely everybody. Nine BKB out. They're going to be able to pull in the Earthshaker. Fiverr gets the Yule Scepter lift up. The Fear, it's not quite going to hit onto them. The big stun, though, is able to connect onto Nine. Could this be their moment? They got him caught there with the Enchant up. The Hex to follow it up as well. Storm controlled. Storm killed off. And now Buyback wants to go into this one. They're going to go for another Aghanim's ulti, but they're able to find the kill with the CM Crystal Nova. Increased damage with the 25 talent. Oh, they got to get out of here before Storm is back, though. He jumps in. The Aeon disc procs, but there was already the sheep on him. Slowed Let down. Go. Possibly going to be killed off. And Centaur looking for more. And the Hex is there. They have buybacks on everybody, though. Hold Embrace. A lot of HP regen for Centaur War Runner. There's going to be the Winter's Curse. Do they have any follow up after the fact? Light Strike Ray again. Connecting onto Centaur. The Hoof Stomp's going to be there. Long duration stun. I think that part of, part of it might have been also the haunt comes out. They spot him, looking for the Ursa, and they are going to be able to get him after the fact. Haunted now, trying to take down King R. It's not really that great of a fight. Echo Slam doesn't hit onto any of them again. Now the Winter's Curse. It's caught a couple. Can they kill him off in time? It's still the full embrace onto that Ursa, keeping him alive, and they will eventually find a kill. FNG and that ultimate go, and her ninja still trying to chase, seeing if they can get out of there. They don't have the Ag Centaur ulti any longer. And Trent, you said they shouldn't have fought. I'm starting to feel like you are a prophet, because that was terrible for Furzy. With a missed Echo Slam, too. Another Yule Scepter there trying to run, but it was never going to be enough. Fissure connects. <laughs> He's on the cliff. More space created. Oh no, what's happened to Hestijo dies? Dude, what? For the space. All right, he's got he's got glimmer. <laughs> <laughs> so this is your redemption chance. Go, Dahawk. Be brave. It's, it's the bait, but is it going to be good enough? It's looking like they're actually going to be able to take it down, possibly. The fear onto the backlights to take down Spectre. All right, counter initiation play with the haunt. They're able to find one. There's going to be the refresher orb popped. Kill off this dark willow dodging from the light strike race, still She's living so the low. blink away, able to live. The Echo slammed down, but it doesn't manage to find the stun on Apple Ninja. He's going to be able to find this one. The ulti coming out from the CM as well. It's not really doing all that much damage. The Enchant Totem in the mid animation for the Piggy. He's able to get away from the Minus Sorcerer is dead. He's back up in five seconds. That's just the Aegis. He's going to come back into this one large and in charge. The Ursa is already dead, though. And forward he goes, trying to take down and kill off that Earthshaker. But now you need to get out of your storm.
Fiverr, Fissure, they open it up with that this time. He's still pretty close to the Echo Slam. Not quite there in time. The Cold Embrace with the Glimmer Cape. They turn it back around yet again. And now trying to turn onto one. It was a big hoof stump. FNG still living for the moment. Apple Ninja able to catch now onto the Earthshaker. Still can't get anything off at all. And they kill him off. They take down the CM. All the bits and pieces of control are taken away. And Apple Ninja is let loose on the Dire team. The other side of things, they get the hef hoof stomp on the hef to Joe. Echo Slam with the buyback comes back in. Fisher on to three. Not bad. They take down the Ursa. Now looking to see if they can kill off the Centaur to boot. And they will get him with that Diffusal Blade, so they buy back. Realize this is happening. Yule Scepter lift up. They're going to be able to find it, but the BKB comes out as well. Can they kill off the Surge Shaker in time? The Fear is there also on the Venomancer. Hasn't gotten any of his abilities off, and now Aqua Ninja jumps out. Nine not able to find it with the Light Strike Array. Still Roche starting to fall down low. Rooted for the moment. Skitter in a little bit of trouble. King R threw down the Brambles. He needs to go in another round. They're able to get it. Aegis is picked up by Hestajo, though. Skitter down low, and they might be able to find the kill. He's so close. The fourth step, the jump away. They dodge it out. Oh, beautiful play there from the Veno, saving his buddy's life. The jump back in. They're going to kill off that Venomancer, but they keep the Spectre alive by the skin of his teeth. Still, rough stuff for Spirit. It's a triple kill for Hakon. Of a major qualification, the Hoof Stomp whiffed. BKB's out. They try and chase, but the Andusk is there as well. There's going to be the chase forward. Can they kill off anybody? It doesn't look like it yet. And kind of in no man's land now. They're going to be able to take down the Ursa. No buyback. Haunt chasing for more. Looking for King R. They've got him caught. They're going to be able to find him killed possibly as well. Oh, the cold embrace. But there's going to be the Winter's Curse. Needing to run away from them as soon as possible. But he ends up going down again. Oh, wait, That's Dark Willow dead for two minutes. Chase forward for more. The Yule Scepter lift up. They've caught themselves. The Winter Wyvern silenced and going to die. Three dead, no buyback. Right now, Double damage. they can still basically kill anybody they want. Echo, oh no, that's not the way to do it. They jump in the fear though. It's gonna keep him alive. Just barely, he gets out. Again, Afro Ninja able to live. Skinner eats the cheese though, trying to turn this one onto him. Can they keep it alive in time? He ends up going down, but he's gonna be back up in just a second. And maybe he wants to die so that way he can come back in with a second life here. He's TP into the shrine. Can he come in and clean up? Skitter to the rest of Team Spirit running away. The long zip in coming from downtown. Finds himself nine. Another round of it. The BKP is out. Skitter going to be chased out as well. They get the pull back in with the electric vortex. The orchid onto him trying to take down the Spectre. And even though he ends up falling, can they get him down again? They can't quite. Spectre still lives. 90 HP. The and sight is real. It, it might be coming. Now, oh, the and the Centaur on the side. They got Man, him The hoof stomp jumping into it right at the get-go. Can they take him down in time? It looks like the answer is going to be maybe no. The glimmer, he's living still through it. Oh! Are what? you kidding me? Is they don't have detection? The glimmer, the ultimate. They turn oh, him back around and find the Centaur. He's dead right, too. He saved his buyback though. Wait, over here to the side. Ursa, though, wait, finding the Spectre. They go in and kill the Spectre for two minutes. Position to fight. Both teams have decent vision. Hoof stomp there. On to the Venomancer. They pull in, trying to take down one. Can they kill her off in time? No. That's actually going to be Blaver going down those 70 seconds. No buyback. Damage coming out now with the Poison Nova. They also throw out that Gale. Not going to connect off to the side. Nine takes down one. It's the Storm Spirit dead while all this was happening. And they might also lose the Centaur War Runner. Nine trying to dodge away. The return actually kind of laying into himself pretty heavily there. Is Nine eventually going to be able to find that kill? The chain stuff. Well, oh, I don't think you should be here, Venno. They jump forward, try to find it. Has to Joe chased in. They're gonna buy back on the storm now. There's gonna be the Winter's Curse in trouble here. Does have refresher and the BKB afterwards, but is just gonna die too quick. They just lose because there's no buyback. Jumps in, finds him at the start, trying to take down the CM from the get-go, and they pop the Aeon Disc onto Hestijo, has the Poison Nova already out, need to run the Sheep Stick, it's onto Storm, but the follow-up fear, it only catches onto one, can they kill him off in time, Light Strike Ray, but the Cold Embrace keeps him alive, and there's going to be the Winter's Curse, controlling one, and now need to get out of there as soon as possible, oh, the Ursa up. couldn't kill him, they jump back in, but he doesn't end up being able to get away, that is going to be a dead Spectre, 90... The slow, here. painful death for this <laughs> Look at Storm, though. He turns the say over. He's going to find Lena. He was standing on top of a sentry ward. 
He thought he could get out of there. They do take down that centaur, but they kill off Lena. There's Crayon up top here. And the see him looks immediately Oops. broken. Uh, the cursed crown. Not much else you could do in that. Oh, well, Storm Spirit's going to keep it there for the moment. So he can come back in for a second round if he needs to. They've already found one. It is going to be that Venomancer. And chasing forward with the Andisk already procting. He's feared. He's rooted. He's killed. CM also going to be caught there by the Winter's Curse. And it looks they like with the Ursa, Ursa down, they're yeah, not going to they be able to kill it. Spectre. And Manscore will just die in the back line. Vision here into the favor of Team Spirit looking for the opening. Fissure onto two. The Haunt is there as well. The Echo Slam, it comes out, but it's onto an Aeon Disc. The Hex is going to be there after the fact. Everybody turned into a little piggy as Sage Skeeter trying to find anybody. It's only the okay. Winter Wyvern that goes down. So be careful they about pop this. Everything to kill Wyvern, but worth, especially because that's a fight without the Haunt. The so big they don't want stomp. To kill scale one. Oh, shit. Catches him, though. The secondary stomp is going to come out afterwards. Can they do it in time? Blow up this Spectre, the Force Staff, keeping her alive with the Glimmer Cape as well. They're able to get him away from it. And now the Ursa controlled, going to fall. Two more dead. Now they're going to completely dismantle him. The Hoof Stomp trying to make it happen. The Fissure is there as well. He gets the jump out. The buyback comes from the Ursa. But the Lift Up is there with the Yule Scepter. Echo Slam now down onto the Dark Willow. Can they kill off nine in time? This Ursa trying to catch. Bash. He gets the Bash. Now onto Skinner. Needs another one in a second. Can he find it? He can't buy one. But the Hoof Stomp is there. The Fissure interrupts yet again. But they take down the Spectre. Does have buyback if they want to take it. Long duration still on a nine. But the chase one away. Echo Ninja has him in his sights. Light Strike right. Not going to find. BKB immediately coming after the frostbite is there, a double edge. To dying there, the global health from Stampede certainly helping there. They just oh. annihilate that centaur. But now Spectre can annihilate his friend. There's no more Earth Spirit here. Skinner in trouble, the hoof stomp, they got him caught. He's done, this is a dieback. God, his HP drops so fast on centaur, but there's a hell of a lot. That's the Joe Rotten, jumped upon. They find the stun, Aeon Disc is already out, but the Hex is gonna be there as well. They come in afterwards with the Nullifier, able to take him down. Brambles down, the jump away. He got rooted while he was mid-air, and now the Haunt to turn this back around. They found themselves the Storm, trying to get it, but the Winter's Curse and the Cold Embrace keeps the man alive. The Force have to jump though. away. The second round of it. No, they don't manage to find it, though. They're able to control before the Winter's Curse comes out. Yeah, but the, that's sent top here. Nine shows. There's no Lincolns. Scary stuff. Got him caught. Jump in. Find the kill. Does have buyback. A little bit like it's going to happen. What else do they have in the tank? FNG gets the frostbite, going for the ulti now. The chase board for more haunt down, trying to take down this Ursa with the storm spirit killing off one. Can he kill off any more? King R very low HP. Spectre is away, still alive. The four step up to the high ground keeps the Venomancer alive too. All together, light strike right hits, and they get a kill. Buyback yeah, from that down here. CM. They want to try and catch someone. The hoof saw misses completely. Van score. Does go for the cold embrace, trying to keep his buddy alive, but he has the meteor hammer. Maybe he's going to be able to land that afterwards. Echo Slam oh misses yet again, but they do find the fissure. Able to find themselves another kill. Can they kill off this Ursa in time? They do. No buyback for him. Skitter almost dead. Is going to go down. Godlike, 100 seconds dead, and it's all again after up to Apo Ninja. He jives, he jukes, he tries to get out of there, but he eventually goes down. 15 seconds revealed as afterlife is in the vicinity and he died close to here previously oh he's found there it is they found the hex right at the get-go able to catch and kill this man off maybe possibly he has another refresher with the bkb everything else jumping out bkb a second time no he could have possibly popped the refresher there is his refresher oh okay put it on the courier got it just going to get stomped quick easy take down that cm and then put back in the backpacks. Nine is here. He finds the Hex. Everybody else is in the area, though. Can they kill him off? In time, terrorize. They pop out the Stampede as well. Storm Spirit is looking for that opening. Van score. Is he going to be able to spot them out? They jump in on the other side, though, and the Fissure to interrupt it for the moment. Can they get them down? There's going to be the Winter's Curse, though. Catching now onto that Echo Slam. The Hoof Stomp and follows it up afterwards. They're stunned for absolutely ever. Trying to kill off that Spectre. It's going to happen. Buy back immediately. The Haunt back in. Trying to take this down. He's hexed up. Are they going to be able to find the kill? They do take down that Ursa, even through the Cold Embrace. Afterlife in trouble. As he's going to be isolated. They find Apo Ninja. Able to get him with the Sheep Stick. Get the kill. Cost buybacks, but they won the fight. How is the wombo combo not enough there for Vanscore? I felt like he did everything. Well, he will be eventually killed off as every single super creep levels, right? Am I crazy? Oh, top side. They find FNG though, able to catch him, and this is gonna be a dead CM. X killed off yet again. 
four. Uh, good thing he didn't 19. use his buyback. Winter's curse gonna be hexed. Also, they're salty in the top side with the end is still there. He's fine. The big jump in the hoofs on the echo slam. Are they gonna be able to turn it? Look at Storm Spirit. He's dying so quickly. This is just gonna be the Aegis and they are gonna burn through it. But can they find any more? Or Shaker dead? No buyback. Two minutes. Can they do anything afterwards? The Poison Nova connects uh -huh. on absolutely everybody. Cheese there as well. But they are starting to burn through them. And they can kill off one. This is going to be the Spectre caught and killed off as well. Buyback not there for her either. They fall Furzy? back on the CM, but they are not doing it. And Furzy making the plays that they need off the back of Afo Ninja and chasing down Hestijo. They have another Aeon Disc proc here as well, but he wants blood. He wants to go to Malaysia. Can they do it in time? He's chasing forward for this one so far. They don't have the Blink Dagger available on the Centaur. He's just standing there and taking it. He's going to buy back. He wants to end this game. All right, the long jump. Tries oh, to get it. Step. He misses. He can't quite get him. Oh, Jesus. They're alive.